Hi everyone, I am Gerald Glenn Ramiro and this will be the continuation of the previous report. I will be discussing about abdomen and the life cycle of the Cimex lectolarius, also known as bed bugs. Bed bugs has 11 segmented with 2 to 9 segments being easily recognizable. This is how a bed bug looks when unfed. And this is how it looks when fed. When the bed bug is engorged, the abdomen increases in volume and exposes the intersegmental membranes, which are called the hunger folds, situated in the mid-ventral lines of segment 2 to 5. As you can see here in the picture, this is this is the hunger folds. That. Next. Bed bugs are seven pairs of prominent spiracles. As you can see here in the picture, there are seven spiracles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Spiracles is an external respiratory opening where the bed bug breathes. In females, on the posterior margin of the fifth segment, is present the organ of rebaga inside which is a gland called the Burley's gland or organ of Burley's which is the ectos permalage which reduces pathogen and increases survival after traumatic insemination. Visible groove or notch on the right ventral or underside of abdomen called the ectos permalage is the location where the male bed, bug, bed bugs penetrates female during mating. Young bugs show the shows the presence of the stink glands in the abdomen region. This is just the, the scent gland of the bed bugs. Life cycle of bed bugs, also known as Simix lectolarius. This is an illustration of the bed bugs life cycle. Eggs are laid by the females in cracks and crevices. Eggs are creamy white, 1 mm long, with an upper coulomb. Egg hatches in 3 to 14 days to give rise to the nymphal stages. The nymphal stages, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five nymphal stages, which resemble the adult, are produced. Adult stage under favorable condition is reached in 8 weeks. The bed bugs are nocturnal, but bite the host during the day. When the host is quiet, they travel long distances, attack men and animals to suck blood. They can withstand long durations of starvation. To summarize what I have tackled about the life cycle of bed bugs, I will be showing you a short video presentation for you to understand deeper about the topic. Thank you for listening.